Kia team, welcome to Daisy Tips. Got a little combination here for you. If we have a look at this, we have a gas canister. We also have what they call a gas stove. Now, if you combine those together, you get a gas stove, which is ready to go. If, as you can see here, you have a cooking pot, which I do, you can combine all three things. You get a fully functional gas stove. These are really, really good if you're out in the wilds. I have some meat here from a recent kill. Once the gas stove in my hand, I drop it. It gets placed on the ground. I switch it on. Then all I have to do is move the meat that I intend to cook into my gas stove. There's another one. And it will cook 12 at a time. And it will cook away. No fire required, no sticks. I didn't need to light it with a lighter or a set of matches or anything. I just popped it down, filled it up, and away it went. You have to be careful with it though. I can only check that it's on by hovering over the cooking pot and it shows me that it's about 200 degrees centigrade, which is pretty hot. The gas looks pretty good, it's in pristine condition. I am warned that it may have a tendency to blow up. I haven't had one blow up on me, but apparently it does happen. So when this is all cooked, I'll be able to sit down and have a lovely meal. And I don't have to alert too many people where I am. And it's quick and it's easy. It saves a lot of time. Good news. When you're finished cooking, as I have here, you can see that when you've switched the stove off, you can still load it up with meat and you can still pick it up and you can still carry it around. Not bad. The very handy little cooking stove. <laughs>